Hey there, welcome to La Comedia Jeremy. I'm Jeremy. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all my new content and videos. And make sure to check out my website where you'll find most of my recipes. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a how-to on a vegan holiday party. So I know many of us are vegan and we are in families or we're friends that are not vegan or don't know how to cook vegan things for us. And we're stuck at parties eating maybe a piece of bread and like a salad and you know that gets very boring and so bland and I just want to bring some seasoning into your life and to show you how you can incorporate these recipes and decorations and just this amazing vegan lifestyle and show them that you know veganism is delicious and that we aren't just eating salads every single day because we're not I make macaroni and cheese sweet potato casserole and it's vegan hundred percent with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Now let me show you how you can decorate and eat vegan for the holidays. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and pull out that Christmas music that Mariah Carey, you know, get it together people, get into the spirit. All right, so when you're decorating, your main go-to item in the house should be your Christmas tree. This is going to provide so much decoration for your house and will leave you money that you can use for other things such as your gifts for your party or your food for your party and you know just be sure to shop at goodwill and the thrift stores and the dollar store and you also reuse things that you find in your house um i use a lot of items that i use uh, that i found in my house and i also used things that i found at goodwill like these string lights i found them at goodwill for four dollars and then the garland i found at the dollar tree for one dollar and they were very long and basically these are the main decorations in our house um i put the garland on the tv stand the kitchen countertop and the kitchen cabinet with the string lights and it's an awesome decoration very simple very easy and no hard work at all and this way you're helping the environment by shopping at the thrift store and using items that are already in your house and you're also saving yourself a lot of money so don't be afraid to shop at the Goodwill, thrift stores, and also recycle things that you already own. So I picked up a big box of macaroni. Um, it will last me forever, but I just used two cups of that for my macaroni and cheese. I also picked up this tofurkey gravy, which was delicious. Um, I suck at making gravy, and this was definitely worth it. Some vegan chow cheese. Best cheese out there. Um, this, these croissant rolls are not a vegan brand. They say they may contain milk, but pick and choose your battle, people. Um, Kite Hill Cream Cheese is the best, the best vegan cheese out there. Well, vegan cream cheese out there. I definitely recommend. I also picked up some Brussels sprouts and some butternut squash to put under my roast. And it was just like the perfect touch to the roast. Some follow your heart vegan parmesan cheese to put on top of the macaroni and cheese. And also, if you guys want to get this to put on top of pizza, so delicious. I always keep fresh garlic and cilantro on hand. And I definitely need it for this um, whole fiesta that we're planning. Um, for my sweet potato vegan casserole, you're going to need two to three large sweet potatoes as the size of your hand and it will feed like 20 to 25 people depending on how much people eat. I picked up some veggie broth. Um, I didn't use both of them. I didn't even use one whole box, but um, yeah, definitely worth it. And I love that they use the word vegan on them, which makes it so much helpful. That's from Aldi. Um, some russet potatoes for my mashed potatoes and also my Dominican potato salad. You put some beets in that as well. For my hro con gandules, you need some gandules. In English, it's green pigeon peas. I picked up this tofurkey roast. Oh my goodness, guys. The stuffing in this was amazing. And I highly recommend if you're looking for a vegan roast during this holiday season. It's definitely worth it. I decided to make a green bean casserole for the first time ever. So I picked up some green beans. And I also picked up some rice for my arroz con gandules. We don't eat a lot of rice here. Um, that's a big bag of rice and it will last us a long time. But that's the kind of rice you need for the 
I'm a Hrokun Gondula recipe. I also picked up some mushrooms to go into that green bean casserole for your cream of mushroom soup. And last but not least, some vegan marshmallows. You, this is totally optional if you want, but this goes with your sweet potato casserole and it adds a lovely touch. All right, guys, so the night before, I highly recommend cooking and preparing as much as you can. Anything that doesn't need to be hot per se, you might want to prepare the night before. So any onions, vegetables that you need to mince or cut, I do that the night before. It saves you so much time for the day of, especially when you're going to be cooking so much. And that's only if you choose to cook so much. But even if you're not, if you're only going to cook like three of these recipes, you, it would still be helpful for you to just cut up and cook anything that you can. So like any potatoes, any squash, any pumpkin, any onions, mushrooms, um, pasta, you can cook and then just finish cooking it or preparing it the next day, which will save you so much time and stress and will leave you much more time to enjoy the actual day. So it's the day of your party and you forget that you have one of the main ingredients that you use for most of your recipes. In this case, mine was sofrito. I didn't have any on hand, but I did have some things that I needed. So I look in the fridge, cabinets, wherever I need to, and see if I have anything that I would normally use for this recipe. So sofrito, as I've mentioned on my website, is one of the main ingredients in Puerto Rican and Caribbean cooking. So I realized that I had some of the things that I needed and that I normally would use. So for sofrito, you're gonna need cilantro, culantro, cebolla, which is the onion, garlic, red pepper, green pepper, and I believe that's all you need. Um, I know there's recipes that include more, but that's what I normally use. Um, I didn't have everything, but I also realized that I had some frozen peppers, I had garlic, I had onion, I had cilantro, so I was like, let's make it work. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and microwave the frozen veggies, just for like a few minutes, and then when that's done thawing out, you're gonna put your onion, your garlic, your peppers, and then your cilantro in that order, and you're gonna just blend that in your blender, and it's gonna create this sauce that you can use to cook anything. But this is a great ingredient in Spanish rice and it just tastes delicious and just gives so much flavor. This was Arrow's first go at making arroz con gandules and it was so good. And honestly guys, it's super simple to make. You're gonna need rice, some sazon, some goya, adobo, some tomato salsa, a little bit of oil if you choose honestly it's not even necessary and some water and i also use some veggie broth sometimes and also some gondolas and basically you just pour all of that in the same pot cover it with some water and let it boil and once the rice just starts to dry out a little bit i lower the heat all the way cover it and then let it cook all the way and then I fluff it up with a fork and it's good to go. It's so simple, so easy to make, so delicious. And you guys definitely want this recipe. So please be sure to check out my website for that. Okay, so I made my own recipe for a green bean casserole. And this is my first time ever making it. And I made my own onions, my own fried onions. And the only difference that I would make to this recipe is making sure that you use a big pot to fry the onions because I fried it in a small pot, which made all the onions like clump up together. So it didn't look as pretty on top of the green beans, but that's the only difference that I would make. Otherwise it was delicious and I highly recommend. For those of you who have never tried it, it's so simple to make and I will link this recipe on my website as well. Okay, so at the end of my cooking, I like to leave anything that needs to be cooked hot and served hot at the end. It's like So like our fresh bread, our macaroni, our vegan meat. So that kind of stuff I like to leave for the end and just take it fresh out of the oven or leave it in the oven while the oven is cooling off. And this assures that it's hot and ready for your guests to enjoy and it won't be cold. Now, if you're going to be baking any desserts, you're not going to want to turn the oven off. 
um, if you actually already baked any desserts, you're going to want to let them sit in there as well with the oven cooling off. And this will make sure that when your guests are done eating their actual food, that they can enjoy the sweet potato casserole, brownies, or whatever you baked for them at a warmer temperature than it would if it were sitting out in the cold. All right, so it's almost party time. So you're going to want to go ahead and get that dinner table ready. Um, so you just pull out your placemats, your dishware, your candles, your small decorations, and make it super simple. I didn't go all out. I went to Goodwill. I found these candle holders, this little garland wreath thing, and this pumpkin, and I spent about like five to six bucks on total on all of these items. Super simple. I got the, the candles from the dollar store, and we are good to go. Well, there you have it, a how-to on a vegan holiday fiesta. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you see any recipes that you might want, please be sure to check the description box down below where you'll see the link to my website and I'll be showing some recipes that were featured in this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy this time of year with your friends and family and have a happy holiday season. I'll speak to you guys soon. Adios! On that note, let's get into the voiceover. I have so much prepared for you in this video, so please.